couldn't help but over here, but you, you work in food allergies? Yeah. Like, I, I've heard a lot about you know how they're on the rise and stuff, but well, how common are they really? Yeah, they are actually becoming more common. About 8% of kids have food allergy now. That is a lot of kids, actually. Yeah. Um, so what are the most common food allergies? So the most common food allergies in young children under six are, are milk, peanut, tree nuts, soy, wheat, shellfish, finfish, eggs, and sesame. Now these are the most common, but kids can be allergic to other foods. What can I do to, to find out if any of these allergens are, are in the food I'm buying? The only way you know is by reading the ingredients on the food label. We can't assume. And when cooking, you always have to make sure that there's no cross-contact. Got it. Um, but what, what's cross-contact? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's when an allergic food accidentally gets mixed up with another food. For example, you're making a salad, you have one cutting board, you chop nuts, you slice eggs, you cube your cheese, chop up your lettuce, your veggies. But anything that touched that cutting board has had cross contact with allergen. Even if you don't put the nuts in the salad, the smallest trace of an allergen can cause an allergic reaction for a child who has that allergy. And so let's say an allergic child encounters their allergen. How would I know if they're having an allergic reaction? That is a great question. It can be very confusing because food allergies can impact any organ system. So some common reactions, especially in young children, involve the skin. So you can get hives, swelling, redness, itching, the GI system. So you can get vomiting, stomach aches and pains, diarrhea. It can impact the respiratory system. So you can get tightness of the throat, trouble breathing, tightness of the chest, wheezing. And it can even impact the cardiovascular system. So you can have a drop in blood pressure and fainting. Now what's really important is to recognize it's happening and if multiple systems are affected or it's a severe reaction, you need to know when and how to use epinephrine. And also know if you're ever in doubt, it's okay to give epinephrine. What can parents do to help? Stop and ask other parents and staff at the child care centers if there are children with any food allergies in your child's classroom. Look at food labels, never assume. Ask if a child has a food allergy before offering food. Go and keep learning about food allergies in young children.